Oh, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the Sigma trading bot. Now we're going to first install a Coinbase Web3 wallet. We're going to transfer funds from that Coinbase Web3 wallet onto the Sigma bot. We're going to buy some Roost tokens, my favorite for the moment, and we're going to transfer out of the Sigma bot so that we don't leave any significant amount of tokens in the bot. You never know. It's always good to um, have risk management in place when using a bot. We're also going to see how to buy Roost on Uniswap for now because that is the only place that it's available using our Coinbase Web3 wallet. Okay, so one of the first things that I like to do is I like to go to the official website for any Web3 wallets that I'm downloading, anything whatsoever. I like to get the link from the official website. So here I'm going to go to coinbase.com. Okay, and I'm going to go into click on the link individuals. Okay, so I'll click on that and I'll go to wallet. So I'll download the wallet from here. I don't particularly use a uh, Coinbase wallet. I instead like to use Rabi or Phantom, depending on which um, blockchain I'm using. But for this example, I'll use the Coinbase Web3 wallet. Okay, so I'll click on wallet to download that wallet. Okay, great. Now uh, download Coinbase wallet. OK, and I am using Brave, so I'll download for Brave, but you can download for whatever extension that you're using. So you have iOS, Android, OK, um, or Chrome if it's a computer. OK, great. Add to Brave. I'm going to add the extension to Brave. One of the reasons why I like to go to the official website is because sometimes you can actually find a scam wallet extensions in the app store. It happened before. Um, and so I prefer to go to the official website. So that's the only reason why. OK, so the Coinbase wallet extension has been added to Brave. OK, great. Now I'm going to go on my Brave wallet and I'm going to pin it. So I'm going to pin it right here. And now I have access to my Brave wallet. So I'm going to click on that. And here I'm going to start setting up my new wallet because I don't have one already. Obviously, you don't share your 12 word to a password manager um, with anyone that you don't trust. Write it down in a safe place. Don't store it on your computer. Always better to be safe than sorry. Agree to your terms and conditions and submit. It's pretty simple, actually, to set up a Web3 wallet. Just remember that wherever you write your, you know, your secret phrase down that you remember and you have access to it. OK. <clears throat> OK, I'll claim my free username. Why not? Oh, yay, it's available. Great. I agree to the subdomain terms. That's OK. I mean, whoever reads that, right? Um, add profile to details. And great, we have our Web3 wallet. Now I'll need to add some crypto to get started. And to add crypto to my Web3 wallet, um, let's see. Here, I'm going to click on Receive, OK? Receive from Coinbase. No, I don't want to receive that from Coinbase. I'd like to transfer from another wallet. But you can definitely click on receive from Coinbase if that's where you're actually receiving your crypto from or receive from a Web3 wallet, right? OK, so these are the receiving address because I'm receiving. I need to go to my Web3 wallet, my other wallet, and I need to paste this wallet address in depending on what I'm sending. I think I'm going to be sending base Ethereum. So I'm going to click on the Ethereum. Now your Ethereum address, you can receive it on the Ethereum network, the base network, the Avalanche network, the Binance Smart Chain network, or the Polygon network. OK, you're going to see all of them here. The Solana address, which is here, you can receive on the Solana blockchain only. Bitcoin address on the BRC20 OK, um, network. Dogecoin on the Dogecoin blockchain, Litecoin on the Litecoin blockchain. OK, so you need to like verify that your receiving address actually has the correct blockchain. OK, so I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to copy that. There we go. And now I'm going to go to a different wallet and send some Ethereum. OK, here I am on my Rabi wallet. OK, I'm going to send Ethereum on the base blockchain. And I've entered the address that I'm I've just copied from the Coinbase wallet. OK, so this is my Coinbase address. 
and I'm sending some Ethereum. Now I can send the maximum amount of Ethereum or I can send, you know, whatever amount. So I guess I'll just send like, I'll send about $50 worth of Ethereum, which is 0.014, okay? Um, on the Rabi wallet side, this address is not whitelisted, so I'm gonna have to enter my password because I haven't whitelisted this Coinbase address, it's new, so I'm gonna enter my password to verify that. Okay, so just to make sure this is the correct address, always verify that that's the correct address that you're sending to. I did copy it, so I did verify this is the Coinbase address that I'm sending it to. Okay, so I'm gonna click on send. And my transaction has been sent. Okay, so I'm gonna close this here. I'm gonna go back here. And if we check our wallet, I should have my $50. Great. Okay, guys, now back to Twitter. Here's the official Sigma uh, Twitter. Okay, so for the trading bot, I will leave a referral link in the description below. So you're more than welcome to use that. Um, and so to install the bot, you can click on my link, okay? Or if you prefer, then definitely come to the Twitter and click on that. But I will leave the correct link. So I would like you to click on my link. <laughs> okay, great. So here we go. Now we can click on um, trading bot. So basically, you know, that's gonna open up Telegram for you. Open Telegram. Um, and it's gonna just basically, I'm gonna take you directly onto Telegram because I've already installed the bot um this is a sigma trading bot for on telegram and this is basically what you're going to see now first things first we do need to add ethereum okay for on the base blockchain we do need to add ethereum onto the trading bot if we want to buy or sell on the bot and to do that we're going to send ethereum to your trading bot so you copy your trading address okay copied okay so i'm going to go back to coinbase and i want to send Send. So I'm just going to send $25 in Ethereum to, to my Telegram bot. So next. And send to is where I copy my address. So 4D80 and 4D80. It's the correct one. And I'm go it's costing me seven cents to send $25. Okay. So I'm going to send. This may take over five minutes. Wow, that's a long time. All right, well, and here, if I click on transaction on my Coinbase wallet, I'm sure I can see the transaction amount. Okay, so it should get there by like in no time. It arrived already, 0 0.007, okay, which is what I sent. Okay, so now that we've funded our Sigma wallet, okay, great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy some Roost, okay? So we're, we're gonna go onto the Roost Twitter. We're gonna copy the contract address from their official Twitter account, Roost Coin, okay? That's your official contract, A180. I know it by heart now. Um, then I'm going to go onto manual buy on the Sigma bot because I wanna do a manual buy, okay? There we go. I'm going to enter the, it's asking me for the token address that I want to start buying. Okay. So it's the token address of Roos. So I'm going to paste that in. It's A180. And all of this is done on Telegram. Isn't that cool? I love Telegram trading bots. Okay, great. And now they have the Roos coin. It's on base. Okay. So it's giving you the blockchain and it has the correct token. So what do I want to buy? I want to do um, a, basically, uh, you know, a buy, I wanna do a, a manual buy, so I wanna enter the amount of ETH that I have in there, which is not a lot, but yeah, I'm gonna buy a specific amount. So I'm gonna buy X ETH here, okay? This is the option. So I'm gonna um, enter the amount. So I have 0 0.006 ETH in there, or 007. So I'm gonna go buy 005, because I need to leave some ETH for gas. So I always prefer to, you know, to, to leave a little more. Okay, and I'm gonna send that in. Oh, should we go and check out the, before we buy? Let's have a look at the trading chart. Looks like a perfect time for me. I mean, I, I like that chart, it's nice pullback, okay? 
which is a healthy chart, guys. I mean, don't freak out when you see a little pullback. Um, I mean, this is not financial advice, obviously, but I, I think it, it was a great launch. Um, and I think, you know, having pullbacks is very healthy. You have the pre-sailers that are out, you know, and you have the, the other ones that haven't sold yet that, you know, believe in the team, believe in the project and so on and so forth. So anyway, I think it's a great chart. So I'm going to buy a little more roost. Oops. Let's go back to trading bot. Here we go. So I'm going to buy 0 0.005 because I have 0 0.0067 or 0.69 ETH in there. So I'm going to play it safe and just buy. But anyway, if I go too high, it's going to tell me I can't buy, you know, because I don't have sufficient funds. But anyway, so 0 0.005 ETH is OK for me. So I'm going to click on send because it's asking me buy X amount of ETH. OK, so I'm going to send that. And let's see. Wow, look at that. Transaction confirmed. I've got my tokens. OK. And in order to see that, if you want to see the transactions and stuff like that, average cost was 0 0.005 ETH. So if we go on to base scan and type in our wallet address here, hit enter. Here we can see, okay, basically what we have in there. If you click on wallet, you'll see that I did buy 170 roost coins okay with the correct 180 contract address it would have been simpler actually to just have a summary of what you have um but yeah i don't see that here okay guys so that's it for the telegram trading bot it's really quite simple and my suggestion would be to really use it, um, you know, use it as much as you can in small quantities and basically get familiar with it. Um, there is one other thing actually that I need to show you is how to transfer out of the Sigma trading bot. So to transfer out of your Sigma trading bot, you'll simply wallets and transfer. And this is, you know, you select the wallet you want to transfer from. So this is your wallet that you want to transfer from. OK, click on that and select the wallet you want to transfer to. So you click on other wallet. I'm going to paste my Coinbase wallet here. OK, so I'm going to copy my Coinbase Ethereum base wallet. OK, so I'm going to copy that. Go back to Sigma, paste my Ethereum address in there, 42.2a. I'm going to send. And then enter the amount you would like to transfer. But what you can do is you can import the Sigma wallet address, okay, onto your Coinbase Web3 wallet. And to do that, you would simply go onto Coinbase, okay, and here you'd go to settings. You can go to manage all wallets, and you can import a wallet using a private key. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna import my Sigma wallet onto the Coinbase Web3 wallet. OK, so I'm going to copy my recovery phrase. Import. Continue. And there we have it. So this is my Sigma trading bot wallet address. OK, and I've imported it onto the Coinbase wallet. And as you can see here, we did buy, OK, 170 roost that we saw on the base scan. OK, if you see here, roost 170. OK, it's the same thing. Great, that worked really well. So at least you have all of the information on your Coinbase Web3 wallet, okay, from your trading bot. So, and you can also, if you don't wanna have that link between the Sigma trading bot and your Coinbase Web3 wallet, what you can do is you can transfer out of, for example, the Coinbase wallet onto another wallet, for example, you know, I mean, 
we'll keep it simple for now. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to get you too confused just yet. Um, but the list does go on. I mean, it's crazy what you can do. Anyway, another time I'm going to show you guys how to research tokens and that will just blow your mind with how many different, you know, ways you can check wallets and stuff like that. Anyway, let's move on to our next part of this tutorial. And that will be how to buy tokens using your Coinbase wallet on Uniswap. Okay. Um, and you can use Uniswap, you can use SushiSwap, you can use uh, Aerodrome, basically any swap, right? So any swap that Coinbase wallet supports. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, 